Hi, uh, welcome to my presentation. I am Gayan Brahmanage. So I will be presenting the work on how to RGBD uh, mapping using Intel RealSense. Uh, so I will go through the brief uh, outline. So I will first of all I will introduce uh, some introduction of what is RGBD SLAM is. Then about RGBD uh, sensors. Uh, then uh, we do out do RGBD mapping. So I will talk about the challenges, uh, and uh, I will uh, I will uh, explain the proposed algorithm to uh, uh, minimize those problems in outside uh, and some experimental results. So originally RGBD sensors uh, introduced for gaming applications by Microsoft. So, but later it became a very popular sensor in robotics and sense, uh, computer vision community uh, because it provides more rich information of the environment. Uh, actually, in uh, uh, RGBD SLAM stands for simultaneous localization and mapping. So, what we do, we acquire RGBD data frames from the camera and we build the 3D map of the environment while keep tracking the camera pose. So in this process, what we do, we collect all the Im Im uh, information uh, frames by frame, and then uh, we align all the frames together to uh, make a complete map. So at the same time, we track the pose of the camera. So RGB sensor actually is a camera that provides RGB image and uh, depth information so we get the per pixel depth information of the uh, image so there are two there are a lot of cap available RGBD cameras in the market but uh, there are two uh, very popular cameras uh, Kinect family of RGBD sensors it has Kinect version 1 and version 2 then Intel RealSense so these RGBD sensors rely on uh, active stereo or time of uh, flight uh, sense into calculate the depth of each pixel. So Kinect family use uh, IR uh, pattern projectors to calculate the depth uh, and uh, or Kinect version 2 use time of flight sensing technology. So but uh, Kinect just work in Hindu environment because once we go to the outside the IR image get uh, distorted by the ambient light. So but Intel RealSense use uh, different technologies, use uh, active stereo. So basically, it uh, calculates the stereo image from two uh, cameras. Then uh, it estimates the depth image. So also, uh, it use a optional IR projector. So in the case of low texture in the image sequence, so it improves the accuracy of the uh, depth image uh, using IR projector. So, if we just compare with the Intel RealSense and Kinect family of sensors, so the main uh, difference is uh, Intel RealSense can be used in outside. So, because it uses active stereo, so in the Kinect the sensor just uh, can be used in into environment. So, but the, the character field of view and the depth is pretty similar of the, for those cameras. So in uh, outdoor mapping, actually, we still uh, even though like uh, Intel RealSense work in outdoor environment, uh, outdoor environments. So we still have typical problems arise from uh, camera side, like because uh, those cameras have low field of view and short range, uh, and also we have some missing depth information if we go to outside. So also the uh, if we go to outside, so uh, the objects. Uh, closer to the camera is not all the time so therefore we improve the the state of the art rgbd slam algorithm to make it works uh, and get to get the pretty accurate estimation so if you uh, as you can see this is a state of the art algorithm and we have the uh, we have shown here the input part of the algorithm uh, as a uh, we acquire depth image and the rgb image together uh, and then we calculate. Uh, then we extract feature RGB features from each image. Then we do the correspondence of image uh, RGB image uh, features of each image. Uh, then we find the transformation between those two frames. 
uh, and we do the further optimization using least square meters but in the uh, that's a, the state of the other algorithm but here we we are not just relying on the rgb feature matches also we use shape based matches so rgbd camera provides a point cloud so we process point cloud and we align consecutive point cloud to make uh, to estimate the transformation so we do we uh, we use iterative closest point algorithm to do, to estimate uh, transformation between uh, two frames using point cloud so then we further optimize this using a two frame sparse bundle adjustment so actually then we uh, fine tune the transformation and then we validate the transformation using free projection so in the input algorithm uh, improved algorithm we have improved uh, point cloud sampling technique so what we do uh, we mostly concentrate the highly overlap area of the image so we have uh, when we extract uh, rgb features we can estimate the higher overlap area so then we extract those regions uh, from rgb images and uh, align together to make uh, to estimate the transformation so this is strategy we can uh, use to get uh, high, high accuracy icp transformation in between and uh, with rapidly convergence and higher fitness score so the in the in the improved algorithm we have uh, we find the uh, point density of each feature points so we uh, technically use uh, rgb uh, matching score so like if rgb feature matching score is high that means we have higher overlap so we mostly uh, we are mostly concentrated on uh, that region and extract those uh, feature uh, those image regions and get the uh, 3d transformation between two frames so then we find the uh, best transformation uh, using uh, icp method so as you can see we have the target frame and we have the source frame so in between we have the uh, transformation between two frame so then we find the best transformation by minimizing the squared error so but then we have two transformation estimated from RGB features and uh, ICP alignment. So then we have to find the best transformation. So what we do, we find the reprojection error. So in the 3D world, we have 3D features in the 3D world. So then we reproject these 3D points into the camera space and then we find the uh, squared error. So then we minimize the squared error and find the best transformation in between uh, between two frames so then we uh, we already have now we have aligned frames by frames but error is accumulated over time with the sequence so to make the global consistent map so what we do we do the least square optimization so we we use a post graph uh, method to do that so these are the some results uh, we generated from uh, image alignment so uh, in the left side you can see some sample of input images so then the right side you will see the estimated 3d map so in the next image you can see uh, we in the left side you have you can see the estimated camera trajectory and the right image you will see the estimated 3d model so the first one is indo case so because we uh, we did it for to compare the compare the performance with uh, inter real sense and kinect so in the second one you will see the the outdoor environment so it is a small uh, a small scale environment uh, in the next one you will see like the same one and the third one is like uh, some more challenging data set because uh, as you can see uh, it is just flow and uh, table so it is a low texture and the uniform texture so in this case actually it's very hard to uh, distinguish uh, find rgb 
correspondences so in this case we mostly works with icp alignment that means the point cloud alignment so even with this challenging data set actually uh, algorithm gives a pretty decent output so if we just compare with uh, because uh, no benchmark data sets available for inter real sense in outdoor environment so to compare with the state art state of the art algorithm so it is called rgb sam version 2 so then we plug in uh, into data set to the same algorithm and our algorithm and we find uh, then we uh, compare the the rmsc like uh, root mean square error for the two methods so in our case actually we get the uh, more like the setup because uh, our algorithm is more constrained with RGB feature matches and ICP uh, based point cloud alignment. Uh, in summary, actually, we uh, the the building of uh, 3D maps in outdoor environments is uh, pretty useful for mostly uh, AR uh, augmented reality uh, and some navigation. So, but uh, once we go to outside with RGBD sensors, we have a lot of constraints, limited range, range and uh, limited field of view. So, but uh, the recently released Intel Realsense, the D435 camera, actually we have shown that we can use it outdoor environment, uh, but uh, we need some significant improvement. And uh, we have shown that it can work outdoor environment with, with uh, reasonable uh, improvements. Thank you.